And welcome to the fake news debunker of the West African Broadcast and Media Academy, WABMA. WABMA is a professional media training institute and a finishing school for aspiring and current media practitioners offering short and long-term certificate courses at the basic, intermediate and advanced levels with campuses in Enugu, Lagos, Abuja and online. First stop, did Ivory Coast goalkeeper wear charms at AFCON final? Social media is buzzing with a video insinuating that the goalkeeper of Ivory Coast, Yahia Fofana, wore charms at the African Cup of Nations AFCON final against Nigeria. The claim is false. Ivory Coast emerged victorious on Sunday, February 11, against Nigeria, defeating the Super Eagles 2-1. The circulating video showed a goalkeeper with jersey number 16 and name tag ASC Giraffe. The goalkeeper had a black object strapped to his waist with a white rope. Many Nigerians, including former senator and activist Shehu Sani, have reacted to the video on Twitter urging the International Football Federation FIFA to investigate the allegation of usage of juju, also known as charm, by the goalkeeper of the Ivory Coast. Checks show that the player, whose image is circulating with a charm tied to his back, is not the Ivory Coast goalkeeper. This is corroborated by the lineup for the Afghan final, which revealed that the goalkeeper for Ivory Coast was Yahia Fofana and not the goalie in the viral video. Yahia Fofana, born 21 August 2000, is a professional footballer who plays as a goalkeeper for League 2 club Angers. He was born in France, but he plays for the Ivory Coast national team. Further findings show that the inscription on the jersey, which shows ACF Giraffe, which means Giraffe Sports and Cultural Association, is a Senegalese professional football club based in Dakar. They play in the top division in Senegalese football. Conclusion The claim that the goalkeeper of Ivory Coast, Yahia Fofana, wore charms at the African Cup of Nations AFCON final against Nigeria is false. Next, does video show Fulani bandits killed by Burkina Faso soldiers? A video has been shared multiple times online claiming that a group of Fulani militants were killed en route to Nigeria by Burkina Bay Army. The claim is false. An ex-user at Umadas posted the video with a caption stating, Burkina Faso soldiers killed scores of heavily armed Fulani bandits and terrorists crossing over to Nigeria. The video showed a couple of dead bodies in an arid background. It had a series of frames transitioning to shotguns, motorcycles, a gun truck, and armored personnel carrier. While the video has a narrator speaking in French to indicate the video was a news package by a media organization, it ended with a short interview with military officer identified as Lieutenant Colonel Didier Bamouni, who is the commander of the National Theater Operations Command, COTN. A reverse image search was conducted after a screenshot was obtained from a part of the video. The search showed that the video was first posted on an Arabic website, Tenacra Media, with the name Abdallah Taghi on the post, while accompanied with the date, May 22, 2022. Another search result showed it was a website belonging to TV5 Mond, a French media platform posted on May 23, 2022, and had the name Guillaume Villadier alongside it. It had the bold heading, Burkina Faso, terrorist attack repelled, followed by a short description of, the army says it has fought an attack by jihadists against a military detachment in the north of the country. Five soldiers are said to have died. 30 terrorists were reportedly killed. The video on the website, which is 76 seconds, credited RTB as the source of the clip, while the caption in the video showed the location of the event was Bozanga, Burkina Faso. According to Wikipedia, RTB, which is an initial for the Radio Diffusion Television de Burkina, is a national broadcaster of Burkina Faso. While the actual report could not be found, it is certain that the video emanated from Burkina Faso and the event occurred in 2022. Conclusion Though the video is true and it occurred in Burkina Faso, the corpses shown were tagged as terrorist Islamist jihadists. Last stop 
Did Babangida warn Tinubu about military takeover? A video emerged where a radio station quoted former Nigerian military president Ibrahim Babangida as having warned President Tinubu about a military takeover. The claim is false. Babangida said he never issued a warning to President Tinubu about a potential military takeover of the presidency. Ibrahim Babangida is a Nigerian retired general and statesman who served as military president of Nigeria from 1985 until his resignation in 1993. The elder statesman said he would have used the appropriate channels to voice out if he has concerns as such instead of a public statement or social media. The former president, through his media consultant, Daemi Saka, dissociated himself from the purported warning. Conclusion The claim that Babangida warned Tinubu about a military takeover is false. Remember to fact check anything before you share it. Don't engage, don't amplify. Do you have a story? Tag us on all our socials at Babma Online or share with us on WhatsApp at 0902 547-8072 and we will fact check for you. Join Wabma in debunking fake stories. Share this content with your contacts. My name is Pamela Onyekwelu.